Sky 4 bringing you this live picture from the scene of a tragic plane crash in Clay County that killed all three people on the plane. Federal investigators are there looking into what went wrong. The plane came down in a wooded area off Violet Way at the end of Carter Spencer Road in Middleburg. News for Jacks reporter Scott Johnson is joining us live. Scott. Tom, this has been something that's been deep in the woods out here in Middleburg. It could be a long time before they're able to get this plane out of here. So I talked to an uh, aeronautics expert earlier today. He's telling me it appears this plane either didn't get off the ground or didn't get enough height to clear the trees. The National Transportation Safety Board descending on the scene in Middleburg. Now we're getting a glimpse of what was going on when this small plane that's hard to see from Sky 4's view was doing before the crash. We now know the airplane was similar in design to this type of plane, a Beechcraft Musketeer. It would initially appear the airplane in the process of taking off uh, either didn't get airborne or did not achieve enough height to clear the trees at the end of the runways. Aviation Short expert Ed flight. Booth says it appears the plane was flying without logging a flight plan first, which is not unusual for flights of smaller planes that are only flying locally. You are taught that when you're operating off of grass, it takes longer to accelerate uh, primarily. Uh, you have to use uh, some care on a soft surface like that, but this is a long enough runway for most any properly loaded light aircraft. Booth says the plane was flying around 10 miles south southwest of Cecil Field and could have requested guidance from the tower there. He also wonders whether there was too much weight in the small plane for takeoff. They will look at the airplane loading uh, three people and some baggage can exceed the weight limits of many four-seat or four-passenger airplanes. Late this afternoon, I talked to the lead investigator with the NTSB. He tells me they're going through things now, like looking at the plane, reviewing things like weather at the time and any radio communication and radar information. In about 12 days, they should have a preliminary report out, but they won't know the cause of this crash could be well over a year. We're live in Clay County, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Scott. News for Jax has covered a number of small plane crashes over the years, and Joy is here with a closer look at three of the most recent accidents in the air. Joy? Well, Mary, last September, a 74-year-old pilot died when a single-engine home-built plane crashed in a wooded area north of Hilliard. He was from Palm Coast. No one else was on board. Our aviation expert Ed Booth said strong winds may have been a factor. A witness told News for Jax it sounded like the engine was stalling as the plane flew over. In January last year, there was this fiery crash in a Columbia County neighborhood. A woman killed when the Piper PA-32 she was flying crashed into a front yard near Lake City. It's believed she was headed to Texas. No one on the ground was hurt. And in May of 2019, two small planes, you remember, were involved in a mid-air collision in Clay County. A 74-year-old retired Air Force fighter pilot was killed. A retired Navy pilot was hurt. They had taken off from a private airstrip south of Green Cove Springs. An acquaintance said the two men often flew together, sometimes in formation. Our records show at least a half dozen other small plane crashes between November 2018 and November 2019. Five out of the six of those were not deadly. Mary? Thanks, Joy. Our coverage of today's deadly crash in Middleburg continues right now on newsforjax.com as new developments come in. Just look for the story on the homepage.